Hi guys, I'm Simitos Ken, and welcome back to Danganronpa, where I just got freaking fingered in the butt to be, to be the freaking killer, and I am very surprised, actually. I didn't expect that to happen. And so, this could be a super short episode. I could just be dead, you know, and... <laughs> And all those of you at home that got left of that cliffhanger in the last episode, well, you should watch the streams if you can, because it's fantastic. So, we're getting into this ultimate despair here. <clears throat> you think I'm the killer? <sighs> sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. <sighs> Everyone, you're wrong. You've got all wrong, I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. Job? Yep. Yep, they got it right. Ah. Here the here here it is. No, I know that's not true. No, this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense. Ah. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials. I'm going to end it the same way. Chills, chills, kill! It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment! Wait, why do I... No, she's pissed. Gyoko! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know, I this, know is this is all my fault. What did you do? Kyoko, you... You, Kyoko... Ooh, girl. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! <laughs> I still got my hands on my knees. That is dedication. That form, though. Huh, I knew they wouldn't kill me. I knew it! Huh? <sighs> uh -huh. What was this? What's going on? Hey, was that. Uh, um. Yeah, it had to be. Th this is. Alter Ego. <laughs> Alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? <laughs> he must have planned it when he invaded my network! Damn it, all to hell! I don't believe this! It would seem. Seem you finally made a miscalculation. No. You miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words. What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated us. Hmm. hmm. Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch. An itch. That stupid, the stupid virus is gone now. Got it. And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you'll never, you're never going to see him again. Yeah. To waste away in a garbage stoop, a, st a garbage strewn pit. In a way, that's an even better special punishment. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, um... Is he gone? <laughs> hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell's going on? Wait, can you, did you not do it? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What, what did you say? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. Huh. 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 We got happy music again. After all that. Whew. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! I knew it all along that they wouldn't kill me! I'm the hero! They can't just kill me like that! <laughs> uh, I wonder if I would have picked a fight if they would have smashed my brains everywhere. <sighs> Alright. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Okay. It's like the school stands the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. Did it just reset? It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. 
They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way of you is scouted by the school itself. Hmm, and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk, zonk off, zonk, zoink, zonk off in the middle of a, some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Dot, dot, dot. Gah. Finally. It finally filled my mind and body start to come back together again, and then... I was awake, or was this just another dream? A dream inside of a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. It was a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash piling up high across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a salute of a heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I gonna be stuck in here till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. I'm not after what my good friend went through to save me. Okay, so I do still realize what's going on. I remember all too well what had happened. Okay, good. Alter ego saved me. And he used up the last bit little bit of his strength to do it. Well, how do you know that? So I can't give up now, for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of here. Okay, so. Ah, okay. Probably the one that fell down here with me. Yeah, and there's a Monokuma thingy there. A rocket and a tank. I'm gonna think too much about what I'm seeing down here. That was the rocket in the tank from the very beginning, the opening scene. That was, I couldn't put it in the YouTube video because it got copyright claimed for whatever reason. Um, is that an airplane? How did something like that wind up in a school garbage pit? Okay, let's go to the obvious door here in front of us. Rattle, rattle, it's locked. No matter how many times I push or pull and kicked at it, it didn't budge. Do I not have a key? Getting out of here is gonna be easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon... I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless, too. Next, I searched for some water. How can I be sure the liquids... Wait, how can I be sure liquids I can drink and which ones are an all-around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. That's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up! After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. All I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. Ga crunch What the? A strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. Trash! Hooray! I watched the guy just an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Uh, probably all this trash sitting on the ground here, and maybe someone snuck me a key in here or something. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? 
I carefully stretched out my hand towards whatever it was and had tumbled down with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash. Rude. Waifu, what are you doing down here with me? Well, she, <laughs> before she emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Waifu! It smells awful. You got, you got stuff in your hair. K Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing so... here? Is it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Well, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She get ready to quit sharp shake and get rid of the trash, then face me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Yay, bread and water. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water she was holding out for me. Then seconds is in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Whew, that really hit the spot. Now I got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then. Well, how long have I been down here? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is all I'm good mm -hmm. at. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Okay, so what's up? But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue so... me? To pay a debt. Or no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... Abandoned you. Oh, you did! I was pretty pissed about that, actually. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason I had to survive, no matter what the cost. That kind of makes me wonder... About the other murders. Well, I mean, a lot of people have admitted to it, but... Are they all legit? Since I obviously didn't do it, I don't think I did. Hmm. But then they still say I was right. It's like he doesn't want to kill everybody. You know. Hmm. Yeah. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Finally! The reason I had to have to survive In other words. is so that I can do what I came to the school to do. What? I made my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. Indeed. That's right, at least I did once. I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. Yeah, we all seem to kind of... ...forgotten stuff. But that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. Amnesia? No, because there's been clues that we all have memory problems. And is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? The first thing... You're talking about how... About when we fainted, right? I fainted and woke up and I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too. And when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school. And I couldn't remember why, what my ultimate ability was. Oh, so she lost some extra memory, and that's why she was suspicious. Hmm. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they could interfere with the mastermind's plan. Somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from However. me? And it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things for myself this whole time. If what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help why you? Is that? If I did that and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal about it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? Mastermind, one of us. I have my theories. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there's a limit of what I can do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. 
Why me? Because <laughs> among everyone, if you, if you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand. Uh, this is my dream again. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Yeah, that was the weird ass dream I had that one time. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Hey, Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. Oh, it's something. They always say it's nothing when it's something super important. But anyway, it is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help right away, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. Okay. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigation on your own, so how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... There's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known me for, the ultimate detective. Well, I figured that out. I said that like four episodes ago or more. I was like, you're the ultimate detective. Actually, probably at the beginning is when I said that, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm the ultimate detective. God dang it. The ultimate detective? Correct. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy was someone I had to find. To find someone who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope Peak's Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. And I also said that, too, didn't I? Yep. I did. What? Man, I am so good. Or maybe I didn't say it, but I do remember thinking it for sure. I said it. <laughs> In other words. I was separated from his from a child. It turns out he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak headmaster. And that explains when Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. Yep, yeah, this, this is the part where I was like, oh, daddy issues. I'll find a way. I. No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter what the cost. So, um. What's going on? And I also think I know who the the, the mastermind is, but I really don't want to say, because I could be totally wrong, but if I am right, it's a huge spoiler, and I don't want to say. I... <clears throat> My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, which my whole purpose to coming here was to find him. Well, that However, makes sense. But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster was the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said that, I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. And then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked, the shelves were messed, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. Okay, you mean the headmaster, right? That's true. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I'd found. Why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Some kind of map. Indeed. The layout of the entire Hope's Peak Academy. Found in the headmaster's room along with Makuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured that the headmaster would have been some kind of private, has some, would have had some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, that room would have likely hold more clues, so I went to Correct. check. And that's when I finally remembered. I remember that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room However, there. Once I got there, I noticed the second floor dorms didn't have any key. So what was that like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can I... say is, the moment I saw it, I realized whatever's going on in the school is more horrific than we had ever imagined. Well, we did see that one room where like mass murder took place that they didn't fix up. Like, there were just, like, body outlines and blood everywhere. What do you mean? So... Can't explain it. You see it for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get a chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's go through the door up there. However... Of course, once I get to the second floor dorm, no camera monitors, which I had, uh... What was going on? Okay. Had to do with, uh... Mukuro. Let's be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. I know! I know it wasn't you either. 
I know you're right, but that means everyone but you had and me had an alibi, so then who did anyway. kill her? What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Kasabi was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole the key and disappeared. In retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. It was the point of the class trial. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. I mean, because of school regulations. That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hosty Academy at your discretion. Yep. In other words, the mastermind ha was adamant about following the rules which that rule in place. So they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules, which makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Makuro. There was a point where Makuro may not have become... There was a point where Makuro may not have become the victim. It could have been you. That's true, because you couldn't save me. Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, flashback into where the person was standing over my bed with a freaking knife. I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. What? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. The ability dr naturally draws me into cases, just like this. No, just, just, just go ahead and... Don't... Uh, we'll forget you said that, okay? Anyway... It's exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran to your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things. That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the mass assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key went out of my room. And... It all has to be the work of the mastermind and attempt to use the class trying to eliminate me. Never killed Makuro the Mastermind, Indeed. right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad. If true, that means the Mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The Mastermind wanted to use the class trial to kill you, but they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. It is a contradiction, and it's not just Makuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does that all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the OTHER ultimate despair. Okay. Other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Makoto was the ultimate despair. And that she's dead. I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not. Indeed. You think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. I'm That's talking right. about what happened a year ago, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Tragedy, whoever's responsible for that, they're the ultimate it despair. A despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Indeed. And there, make no mistake, they're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. And that is our real enemy. When her mouth dash, pain of a food a junk food junkie. Oh no, don't kill don't kill my donut girl! Don't kill my donuts now. Hang on a second. Oh wait, okay. To be continued. I think I just Okay, I just, I got an item, the Dream Island Rocket. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, save on the second file so I can possibly go back if I want to. <clears throat> the same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Right now, anyway, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story. Can, figuring out the rest of the story can come after. 
Yeah, you're right. So, you got a key? Still have that one thing? Secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolute vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. It can open any door in the school, right? That's right. And we should be able to use that on that door, right? Let's go! Hey, okay, okay. Can we use the key to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Slid into the keyhole, and then click. Yes, it opened. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Well, what's behind the door? Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Hmm. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Ooh, girl, the upskirt shot, you know what I'm saying? The ladder was impossibly long. I could even see where I couldn't even see where it ended. And then it started playing Snake Eater as I climbed. If only. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. It looks pretty wide open. Anyway, I had no idea we were so far hey. down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, you won't be able I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kinda nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. So, uh, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. Which apparently isn't that long since we lost our memories somehow. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. Okay. There's a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That's how we uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort. We're the best detectives in the world that can solve all the crimes, but we don't want anybody to know about us. Okay. It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, I can't say it's entirely rational. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that, because it's not. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. This game is good about tying up some loose ends, you know, because you know, I'm, I'm picking it. I try to pick a part, and it, it's sound. And I like that in this game. Because like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to hope's peak, I had to reveal myself at the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride was the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. Dot, dot, dot. What? Reconnect. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? B but you'd be returning after all those years, right? You wouldn't... You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father However, about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Then you could have just stayed away. <clears throat> sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented. He had a promising future. However, but he had no interest in detective work. 
So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. As young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'm sure dad would want to take you with him. Right. Is that true? If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. <clears throat> because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that, compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But that's not true. However... There, but there's one thing, one thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind, like I said. I think it was a good thing. However... When the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. And that's how they see me even to this day. I... The shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him that we're no longer family because... Eh, that's... Stupid. <sighs> anyway, so the past. Sorry, I turned out I own. Hmm. In order to remove him from my life forever, I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family just cut him out like that. Wrong. This, our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Okay. Is blood really enough to call someone family? I'm only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. This must be a really long ladder if she's still talking. Oh well, so instead, I said nothing. Oh, there we go, finally. <sighs> Just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. <laughs> Looks like this Indeed. is it. On the other side of the door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch in the ground near the trash room? Clearly certain that's where we'll come out, but that is locked. How are we going to get out? Oh, I unlocked it earlier, so it should be over without much trouble. Why do you just go down the ladder then instead of freaking falling in the trash? I guess because it's... Because they can see it. All right, well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and push against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Monokuma's pissed now. Looks like we're back. <sighs> I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't actually say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Kyoko, thank you. I've never gotten out of there without you. Hmm. Nothing's necessary. I was just returning the favor. Uh, okay, well, let's talk to you some more, I guess. So, now, what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the Mastermind finds out, I'm worried about you, too. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You worried? Yeah, of course. So then. Let's just get a concrete answer. Girl, you're my waifu, girl. Of course I'm worried about you, huh? In other words. Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. W wait, that's... However. If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. And it's not like we can run away. It's not really in the rules that I can't come back, right? As she said that, she pointed at a nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stress out over getting caught, we should give up now? Don't worry. What do you think... It's going to happen, isn't it? Because... Because the Mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The Mastermind is ensnared. He said something like that before. What does it mean? He's got a TV show, right? Broadcasting the whole world. He doesn't want it to be over. Right? I don't know. So... The Mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makura's death. There was a moment where the Mastermind let their guard down. It was. Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. Still a little no, super uneasy about this. We don't really have a choice, Indeed. do we? Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Okay. Can I fast travel? Yeah! Monokuma, where you at? Where you at? Well, now, well, 
now, well now, well now. Hey, 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 hey. I will say this and nobody say anything if you know the story. I think the mastermind has very uh, pigtails. Very pretty pigtails. <laughs> Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I but Makoto's supposed to be it. dead. What is he doing here? It's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? <gasps> you were supposed to be punished! Did Kyoko help you? What? What if I did? What will you do? Shing! If you're the gu guilty party, wait. If the guilty party's exposed during the class trial, they'll tow. They alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. And this time, we won't leave anything to chance. K Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to. What? However. But before you do, we just say one thing. Yeah, if, if you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? huh? I lose? Hey. You explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? It was getting in your w I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. Words, it was supposed to be ch I was supposed to be chosen as the black and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, what are you talking about? However. But then but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The result of the trial weren't the results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position one person would protect another like that. Right. In response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto as the blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice to have desperation. No more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was threatening you as well. However, but then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery, Alter Ego. I never managed I never imagined the possibility of being Wait, I never imagined the possibility po the possibility of a being, okay, that could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would serve as a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the black is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Mm. Hmm. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the black is me and not Makoto? Well... And you can prove this, right? Well... No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. Yeah. What is this, a comedy routine? <laughs> to make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have you right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deep you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. <laughs> and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he would have... He never would have come to willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have gripped by, he would be in grip by despair you love so, you so love to inspire. However, but here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto right now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Told ya. Imagine that every imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly Basically. right. Despair can never kill hope. Yeah. Hey. Of course, you can't say we're just making all this up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. I read that wrong too. I'm, my reading's getting worse. Now you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and That's square, what have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. So, what's this advice of yours? It's true. To do, M to do Makuro's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make a proper climax, wouldn't you say? 
A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Makuro's killer of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me with another word. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Bear it! Very interesting indeed! Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little, so time for bear jokes! Now, what you suggested might be plausible. It would certainly make one a honey of a climax! In other words... Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, it'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I prepared to agree to your term. I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> we hope we are hope went out, or will despair and claim victory. I can barely contain myself! Let's have one final grizzly showdown! He agreed? And we still have a shot at this. Bear it! But this is one long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting in. For this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right, every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, I can barely contain then myself. that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. Qualify. <laughs> so that's what we've been trying that's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well good! Then let's bear it all! If you can claw your way to the truth of M Makuro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, guys. then you win! <laughs> but if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. Are koalas actually bears? Oh well. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. So when we've uncovered the last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure, so what? Hey. I just wanted to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it's but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Makuro is no exception to that. Uh huh? Makuro's trial is like no exception. Then it's part of the regulations, which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I get where they're going with that, and I'm pretty sure that I'm 100% right about who the mastermind is. It's a very polarizing ex approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why did he get so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm, I'm done talking. Angry. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would you? Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. Just you really gonna let me go? <sighs> I don't care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I just start. I need to start getting it ready. Oh, I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> hey. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were at the gym. Dot, dot, dot. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. 
Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because However, of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that moment that the mastermind let their guard down, like I said. So what was the time? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but I do remember the ma what the mastermind said. They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. What did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull However, off. However, yet somehow the mastermind was able to do in it. In other words, but I think if an, but I think, but think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason. So they had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to, sh they wanted to show the world. It would seem... The Mastermind has ver been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point. Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those students who represent hope to kill each other to sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that to try and prove that despair is better than hope. And their goal is the ultimate despair. They want to prove that despair is better than hope, but that is ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. I'm glad this game agrees with me. It's kind of the thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate spare would devise. That group who only, whose only purpose is to motivate, and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making their rest? The, 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 blah, 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 blah. Come on, I can read. We got pit sweat. Mm. Is that really their only reason for making us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignores their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. That's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind wouldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. Mm -hmm. That's precisely the reason. Well, this is all interesting, but can we can we move on with important stuff? Uh, excuse me. No matter how much they may have hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. She got stabbed right in the boob. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't it's work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you and due to that failure, the mastermind took an yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. You know, when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. Uh, come on now, just, just let's, let's, let's pick it up a little bit, please. In other words. Oh, man. Yes, they can't break their own rules, I understand. However, Jesus Christ. I still can't believe how much the masterminds thought and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest wow. clue. Who didn't? In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. I was only my reasoning. Essentially, I was making <sighs> a bet. But it looks like we got it right. This time, at least, I won't bet. Quick sigh, it looks as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a strong demeanor is fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? 
Plus, if you'd shown, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However. Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this Correct. time. Or everything we've gone through would be have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. Before we get in the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. Uh, work together with everyone. However, huh? anyway, anyway, right now we have to find the others. Go? You're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Oh, man, she talks a lot. Good Lord. Stop telling me the same thing over and over again, please. All right, uh, wait, when we, are we going to the dining hall? Is that where we're supposed to be looking for everybody? I didn't really, it's kind of lost focus there. Anybody in here? And suddenly, we were greeted with... You again. Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability has reached its limit. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. Couldn't help but let us our relief. Huh. Hey! That is that Makoto? Makoto? Hey, everybody! Hello! Hello, Donuts! How are you doing? <laughs> yes, indeed. Those are very nice. Very nice, indeed. You guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! Huh? You survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there, all my friends who struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. I'm not what? dead, you guys! Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks! <laughs> it's Makoto, he smells like a wet dog! <laughs> Get away, shoo shoo! Uh, you're all so happy to see me. No, you're not happy to see me anymore. In a flash, my tears dried up. What a bunch of jerks! Hey, milk jugs, I mean, donuts. You guys been doing when I was gone. Mm. Well, we figured that since the trial's over, we'd have to access the new places again. And Aww. no dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. And where can we go to find new clues? Still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it's you? Do you realize why it is you? Who, do you realize why it is you escaped execution? Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? Okay, that's a typo. I was like, can I not read? Like, even worse now? It was alter ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. What's up, ghost dude? Yo. Kodo, hanging out in the spirit world. I didn't go to the spirit you know. world. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss mm. Cleo. I didn't. Miss Cleo? <laughs> Call me now for your free reading. I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? I know who Miss Cleo is. <laughs> you stinker. You rotten. <laughs> rotten you. physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in, gar in the garbage for a while. <laughs> The smell is so s smelly. Uh, super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. I win. She seems happy for some reason. Okay. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Yeah, you guys really aren't asking a lot of questions, which is surprising to me. Hmm. But it is okay that you're here. What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. It's related to what I have to tell you. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Makuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling Wrong. you. Makoto isn't the isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Oh, huh? uh, so sure, but <laughs> Byakuya did it. But oh well. And then who is it? I see. 
What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Mm -hmm. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makuro stopped the trap in time. M Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to try to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you, you say? spy the trap? You spy the trap? Did you, Makoto? You make us sound like it was easy. Uh, just, you know. However... But execute Makoto, who wasn't the Blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state only the Blackened is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> which is why I went and negotiated with them to have one more with the trial one more time. <gasps> the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. You said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you're referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here! <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. Mm -hmm. So, knowing all of this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Makura, right? So our job is expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's one... There's more to it than that, correct? Uh, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Uh, every last mystery? But... We've been looking around all this time, but we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Whoa. Everyone! Hey, hey who said I, who, who's, who said you could agree to those terms without attacking the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here for forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> Interesting. In, in other words, one decisive final battle, a rather interesting development, I'd say. But... But, a figure, but, but figuring out who the Mastermind is, and how they killed Mukoro, and all the school's mysteries, it's okay. I don't know the school's mysteries, but I figured out who the Mastermind is, I think. I'm, I'm like 98% sure. Uh, it's a pretty tall freaking order. Maybe, but this sounds... This time the trial's different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us a little hint of his... Yeah. <laughs> Very polarizing with puns already, but the killing game began with 60 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Host Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Monokuma said that, didn't he? And Kyoko's opinion is, a perfect, is perfectly reasonable. Oh, but, but why? So, in other words... The Mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the Mastermind would have had set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder... Monokuma could probably murder Makuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the a scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's, in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been talking, taking part in the killing game. So the Mastermind is one of the students. Alive or dead. <laughs> then the mastermind is... Somebody right here that we're looking at. There's 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Makuro and you get 16. <laughs> so the mastermind will have to be one of them! That's right. And one of the 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive, are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the Mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say that for sure. That's true yet. Monokuma might have said that to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The Mastermind is being one of us is also a possibility. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like in my head a lot. I'm thinking about a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm missing a whole lot of words now. We slow down. 
And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're an uh, ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they m must be a high schooler. Mm -hmm. You can't say it's n not possible. What if one of us was the mastermind? Oh, I'm still reading her voice, I guess. She don't really have a voice anymore. Nobody really has a voice anymore because this game's so freaking long. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? Exactly. So, it's... It's not a living, a living student, okay? Some students needed a way to get out of the way so they could run everything. And they couldn't be Monokuma and control everything and be participating, especially now that the other Ultimate Despair is dead. Okay. <clears throat> but did you ever see anyone act suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Wow. Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in, in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed some, someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up a dialogue in his actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way... Oh, in that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, we also said that Monokuma changed at one point, so... The people controlling changed, right? And then Monokuma also killed the that person that we're having the, uh, the trial for. So, they're in charge now. Which... Eh, I won't say anymore, because I can... I can... I can... I think I can lead you around enough to where I will spoil it if I keep going. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe... But still... Yep, and here's our good old recording. Uh, this is a school announcement. It's different. That's, that's, that's different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. Oh, okay. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Wow. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought it was different because it's a different person, but apparently it's because he's un he's opening all the doors up. It's the Illuminati. How very mag magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry with the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> the master, he didn't take me w with him. Hey. Do you blame him? Without Master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the- Wait, coffee with cream with, without the cream? Arc coffee? Yeah. You're totally useless! So bye. That Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> laughing out, laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really going off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Hmm. Mm, I guess I'll do the same thing. But I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know. Because I mean, but up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Oh. Makoto. <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But Still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Yes. Yes, you have. Okay. So I figured at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm going to go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. But 
But Donuts, you know, was surpri surprisingly high spirits. She dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Well. Well, well, well. I think I'm going to pause it right here. That was, uh, I don't know how long that episode was, but I feel like we went over a whole lot of stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay toasty, my friends.